finally, the first web scraper that I can actually recommend to anyone that has basically no knowledge on whatsoever on how to scrape. It's so easy to use that I'm actually surprised too. So it's called Thunderbit and we're going to check it out right now. What's up everyone? My name is George and this is Thunderbit. It's a Chrome extension that's going to help you scrape websites basically the easiest way ever that I've seen. So I have basically tested over 10 website scrapers and this by far is the easiest one. And they have something that's crucial that I want to show you here on the website. And this is basically true. So it says no more CSS selector bullshit. And it's 100% true. Other web scrapers will have you select specific areas to scrape. And it makes it hard. It makes it hard to select things. It's just so complicated. With Thunderbit, it's super easy, okay? So the idea of Thunderbit is not scraping details, specific details. The way that Thunderbit works is that, hey, I'll check out every single aspect of the page that you want me to scrape. And you tell me what you want. And let me show you how it works, okay? So I'm going to show you here on Amazon, and I'm first going to test it for you on any specific product. And I'll just collect this one for testing purposes. I don't know what it is, but we're going to use this, okay? So I'm going to enable Thunderbit here, and it's going to open up this. And I have two options. I can use the Web Scraper, the AI Web Scraper, and the AI Autofill. Let me show you the AI Web Scraper. So I'm going to select it, and there's some pre-built templates that you can start using. But since I want to show you how easy this is, I'm going to do a brand new one for you, okay? So I'm going to select a new Scraper template. I'm going to use AI suggest columns and it's going to suggest columns of what I might need from this specific product. But I'll show you how easy this is. Okay. So first off, it knows I want the product name, product URL, price, etc. But what if I need something specifically, specifically for, from here? So I'm going to say, you know what, when will this be delivered? Okay. So I'm going to add a new column here and I'm going to ask it delivered. Okay. So that's something brand new and I can just ask it anything I want right here. So it's using the power of AI to know what you want. And I'll show you how to make use more of this in a more advanced way. Okay, so let's go ahead and script this super fast. Let's get a few seconds for this to finish and I'll show you the results. Okay, we just got the results. Let me show you really quickly here. So we got the product name, URL, price, the customer ratings, the product description, product image. And then I added that column over there. When will it be delivered? Monday, February 24th. So it was something that I didn't have to manually select. All I did was ask and AI took care of the rest. So just like that, I'm able to add more columns with more specific data. For example, what's the stock? What is the product size? The images, the return, is it free return or not? Details of anything that I want right here, I can grab, grab it by just asking it with AI. So as I mentioned in the beginning, what it does is Thunderbird will read everything for you and you just ask it what you want. And that's how easy it is, right? And if I want to go more advanced with the columns, I'll also, I'm able to do it. So for example, I can add a new column here and I can say, for example, I can say the product description and I'll select the little icon right here and I can decide what this column is about. Okay, so what do I actually want from it, right? So it's single, single select, multi-select, numbers, date, etc. But then there's this option add column detailed instructions. So I can ask Thunderbit to actually describe it in its own words, not what it actually says there. So with this, I am basically using a prompt with this feature. So it's a fantastic feature that I haven't seen anywhere else. So I can also do a sub page scrape here. So if I wanted to jump inside of products, that is possible too by selecting the product URL here or add a new URL. It gives me the option. So just like that, that's how easy it is, for example, to scrape Amazon. And yes, you could do multi-page. So for example, if I search for Thermal Mix, which is something really popular right now, I can also use pagination. So if I go to Thunderbit back again, use AI Web Scraper, again, I can use the pre-built templates that they have available, or I can, again, use my own. And then I can use, for example, pagination. For example, no pagination, I just want to scrape this page click pagination that means it just wants me to let it know where is the next page so i'll scroll down here for example oh here it is the next i'll select it and then i can start scraping and then i can select how many pages i want to scrape so i can go crazy or i can go two pages three pages five etc and there's an option for infinite scroll so depending on the type of website if there's no next button where you just scroll and it shows you new products then you use infinite scroll there's also the option for urls file images etc now Amazon's a pretty easy one to scrape, right? You might say that because basically super popular, but what about sites that are not so popular? So let me show you here. This is a site that I personally use. I'm an affiliate and that's why I do a lot of scraping on this website. So what if I want to scrape this one right now and I want to send the data to my 
Google Sheets. Well, let me show you right now. Let's open a Thunderbit. Let's use the AI Web Scraper. Let's do a new scraper. AI suggests it's going to tell me the details right here. And I'm going to add a few columns to this right now. So here we go. We got the results, but I'm going to add new columns. For example, I'm going to ask for a refund period. I want to know. I also want to know, let's go down here. I want to know the best four, the alternative two, the integrations. And let me go ahead and add these four really quickly. Okay, here we go. So I just added these four by just typing it in right here. I didn't have to do manual selection. I didn't have to use CSS, nothing complicated at all. Okay, so I'm good to go. I want to send this to my Google Sheets. I'm going to connect it to my account, select the drive. I am going to name this and I'm going to say, AppSumo deals. All right, let's go ahead and save this. There we go. Let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, so here we go. We got the details for the titles. Let's go ahead and scrape this right now. And let's give it a few seconds and we should get the results. Here we go. We just got the results. Let's find over here on Google Sheets. We got the details right here. So the product name, the product description, we added the manual ones. Let me show you those ones. Uh, here it is. Refund period. It's refundable up to 60 days. So that's correct. Best for entrepreneurs, uh, curious, small businesses, etc. integrations, API, public connect, alternative two, and the features. So this was grabbed from the details. So just like that, I'm able to tell it what I specifically want. And I'll send these over to the Google Sheets that I want. Now, this is a manual way, but you can also do this in automatic way. So if I select this one again, I'll just go ahead and close this right here scrape again and that will be added to the next column of my google sheets so here we go we got the results and that will be added to the google sheets into the next column and just like that i'm able to do a manual scrape or an automatic scrape now i definitely recommend that you check out thunderbit if you want to have an easy way to scrape products pages profiles etc and they have pre-built templates for several websites for example right now they got linkedin zillow youtube google maps amazon and ebay but I mean, you don't even need, need templates because it's just super easy to use. So if you want to check out Thunderbit, I'll be leaving the link in the description. Let me know what you think. And that's a wrap.